How's it going guys, you're Lieutenant here and welcome to the 87 rated Path to Glory Cam version Raheem Sterling play review. You guys might be well aware that EA has dropped new Path to Glory cards the spring version and they are available through SBCs and the pack themselves and uh, I myself did few you know untradeable spring versions SBCs and I was quite fortunate to get this card right here alongside Isco and Goretzka but the card that fascinates me most from these three cards ob is obviously this card right here because I mean, even though his stats are the same as his second inform, I wasn't, you know, uh, fortunate enough to get my hands on the second inform. So therefore, I'm quite lucky to get this one right here. And obviously, the thing that excites me the most about this card is that he's a cam version. At the start of FIFA 18, you know, when I used to play weekend league, I used to put him as a cam at times. And uh, obviously, he was great at that position because even though his shooting is not the greatest, uh, you know, on his base card, or even if you say on this card, it's not the greatest ball, you know, his pace and his dribbling, are insane and so with that pace and dribbling you can make a lot of good use and so therefore i was really excited and uh, as you guys can see he's got a i mean pretty phenomenal car means obviously the, the stats are the, uh, are the same as the second inform so if you look at the stats he's got an, a 95 pace 88 dribbling 82 shooting 84 passing and 72 physical pace and dribbling are phenomenal obviously shooting is not the greatest but it's not the best either you know with with another inform you do expect to go to around 85 and then with another one you do expect him to go to 88 or something like that and his work rate is also really good you know with the high medium and then he's got a pretty good four star skill moves with not the best but not the worst three star weak foot looking further into the car it's a quite it's a quite an insane car to be honest he's got a 96 acceleration with 93 spin speed he's got 93 positioning with 84 finishing and 78 shot power alongside 80 long shots these are the stats that i'm not like most excited about because obviously they are quite low and uh, so i believe for a cam card these are not the this is not the best shooting you know and then he's got a pretty good passing i believe with 91 short passing 85 vision and then 82 crossing his dribbling is absolutely insane with 94 agility 95 balance 86 ball control and 88 dribbling composure however is quite low with only 76 and then he's got a pretty nice stamina with 88 and then i think a quite good strength for a guy who this short with 75 and guys this car right here is an insane car like i said when i first used to play fifa 18 in the weekend league i used to put him as a cam even though he was a right forward you know his base car is a right is a right forward car but i used to put him as a cam just because of his insane pace and dribbling and so i'm quite excited like i said about this car being cam and he was actually phenomenal for me you know if you if you know how to use him well on a cam position you can you know you can make a good, really good use of him i use them on a 4-2-1-2 formation which i do i do not think is the best for this guy right here because like i said he doesn't have the best of shooting i think he works great on 4-2-3 run formation you know with the uh, with you know being on either side as a cam not in the center not as a, as a center cam because obviously he's not, he doesn't have the best shooting i think he fits on the sides because the passes on the sides are op and then he's got a phenomenal pace and you know dribbling alongside passing that you can put in easy passes and you know obviously you do expect a lot of goals but talking about his positives like i said he's got a really really good pace alongside his dribbling and you know his passing as well and i mean this dribbling is quite good i like i said i think composure is a bit low you know only 78 so that's not the best you do expect him to be not that composed you know when there are openers around him and then his weaknesses which i think are you know not the worst ones but still quite big you know his shooting i think is is a, is, a, is a weakness to be honest you know his finishing even though it is 84 i think it's still not the best and then his stamina is great but you know what he call his i think his aggression needs to be a bit more aggressive i do think it's a bit more aggressive in real life but on the paper it only says 40 so i don't think that's the greatest that's a, quite a bit low you know and then i think another weakness that this guy possesses is his what do you call shot power it's only 78 you know it's not he doesn't hit the ball really hard so that's obviously a downside to this guy but it's still a really good really good card you know obviously you can put him on a cam and uh, like i said if you know how to use him as a you know as a center cam then obviously you can make good use of him if you put because as, as a center cam you can only play him as you know with r1 plus x passes you know as, as with that combo and then just expect him to get through and then lay the ball in and that how it works with this card if you put him as a center cam and the cards that i think are quite similar to these cards are i think you know william man of the match or even alessandrini i think alessandrini is quite similar because he's also quite short and he also has the same agility and balance alongside pace but obviously he has a lot better shooting but that was it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in the next one